Hey, this is Noah. We're off this Saturday for Alt Culture Weekend, but just wanted to come in here real quick and hit you with a couple different updates here on Alt 1017. Just a little little quick few minutes here to talk to you. Um, some alternative artist updates. Hosier and Benson Boone are still close to the top of the Billboard Hot 100 and Noah Kahan stick season. Popping back a little bit into, but a Benson Boone, Hosier, and... Uh, Artemis, who we played recently with I Like the Way You Kiss Me, are doing pretty well top three on the Global 200. Coachella happened this past week. Grimes sort of had a hissy fit whenever her tracks weren't going too well and uh, got some backlash from that. MGK was apparently banned, quote unquote, from Coachella uh, back in 2012. So he talked about that recently when he had never been to the festival. And uh, he wasn't able to go this year because his, his daughter's volleyball tournament ended up being the same day. Taylor Swift, of course, dropped her album, The Tortured Poets Department, this week, so that's been, you know, big news. I uh, I listened through to it, uh, glanced at some of the different songs, thought it was, you know, it was okay. I was really looking forward to Post Malone's feature on her, the first song, Fortnite, and uh, I was excited to see that in the music video for it, Taylor Swift had sort of put uh, face tattoos on herself as well. But, uh, um, Post, you know, Post Malone doesn't really have a big part of it. Come on, take a page out of Beyonce's book and make it be the highlight of the song. I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, so that's Taylor Swift's new album from her. Also had a feature from Florence and the Machine. I do think that song highlights that artist a little better. Uh, if you're looking to get into movies, there's several out this weekend. Abigail's a horror movie where a group of criminals kidnaps a 12-year-old uh, who maybe isn't just a normal girl. But if you want something a little more like surrealist comedy, check out Sasquatch Sunset. stars Jesse Eisenberg from like Social Network, uh, Zombieland, and such things. Uh, about a group of Sasquatches surviving in North America. And uh, if you want something a little more co- uh, comedy, a little more action type thing, Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is out this weekend, new, newest Guy Ritchie movie about a group of World War II special forces that's sort of formed by Winston Churchill to embark on a daring mission against the Nazis. And if you want something more serious, a historical drama, The Long Game. It's about a group of Mexican-American young people who set out to play golf at the White Country Club and make their way to the Texas State Golf Championship. So there's some different movies that are playing this weekend right here in Tuscaloosa. We have another something to add to our uh, viral sounds of 2024. Uh, check this one out. Don't ask me how I did it. I just did it. It was hard. I just. So that's one we're going to add to the catalog as well. So I'm not going to be playing music this hour. It's going to be your normal programming, but I did want to highlight one song and, and play that for you. I got around to finally listening to Chapel Roan this last week, uh, and she hit on the Billboard Hot 100 for the first time as well with her new single, Good Luck Babe. So shout out to her. I listened to The Rise and Fall of the Midwest Princess, her recent album. Red Wine Supernova is obviously really good, and I'm also a fan of Casual, My Kink is Karma, those two songs, and Hot to Go has really grown on me as well. She makes a lot of good uh, uh, indie pop, alternative pop, maybe some rock stylings in there as well. So go check out uh, the uh, Chapel Rowan album, The Rise and Fall of the Midwest Princess. And tonight I'm going to play for you her newest single that has hit on the Billboard charts the first time, Good Luck Babe. We'll be back next week. Have a good weekend. 